Hello guys, good morning. Today is Monday, the start of a new week. I absolutely love Mondays because I get to refocus. I write down all my goals that I want to accomplish the rest of the week, what I need to do, all the photo shoots that I have going on. Um, I put my clients on check and everything. I absolutely love Mondays because it just gives me time to like refocus on myself and get everything I need to get done ready and prepared for. So yeah, today's Monday. I'm actually, today's a little bit different. I'm actually messaging some competition coaches today which I'm really really nervous about I know I've maintained a really good healthy physique you know like curvy thick you know good for me balanced physique but it's not you know like competition physique so I'm really nervous as to what these coaches are gonna say and yeah I'm gonna show you guys what I'm looking like right now I put on my bikini from the last time I competed and in um, New Jersey yeah this is the one I wore for my national show I definitely want to do a different color I'm not gonna go with red this time but yeah I actually tried it on and it fit it actually fit pretty good let me show you guys so this is it this is the body right now. I'll let Chris do a, a back pose, but gonna check in with this suit, holding a little bit of fat right here, which is completely normal. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm looking like. Okay guys, so I just took some pictures. I'll actually show you guys so that you guys can see. I'm <laughs> so awkward taking these pictures because they're not my normal like, oh, I just woke up, selfie pose. And then today's not a good day. I had some pizza last night, so I'm not as tight as I would like to be. But hey, it's a better starting point. So I'll show you guys these pictures. So this is my front pose. I just look awkward. Oh, man. Oh, man. I look awkward in that one, but that's my front pose. Let me show you guys my back pose. That's my back pose. For the first time ever, it's kind of bright on the camera, but you guys can actually see, I can actually see a little bit of a tie-in in my glue area. So I'm really, really excited to see how my hamstrings come out because as you guys know, well, if you don't know, um, the hardest area for girls to uh, cut down is like their hamstring and glute tie-in, and that's the number one thing that the guys, that the judges judge. So like you have to have like a good hamstring to glute um, proportion and like a really nice tie-in from your hamstring to your glute. So I never, I've never had that ever in my life. So I'm just really looking forward to seeing how lean my body can get. And like, I want to make sure that I keep the most size. I was looking at like previous videos from like two to three years ago. When I was doing my first show, guys, my arm was like a stick. My thighs were like a stick. So if you guys are in this, like in your head and like, oh, I'm not making any progress, go back to like my videos from two years ago, I promise you ladies, it gets better. Especially if you were thin and I lost a lot of weight and then I just stayed really thin and then, you know, now I've been working on bulking and just living a balanced lifestyle for the past year and a half, two years. So it will happen for you ladies, it just takes time. Um, but yeah, gonna get some breakfast and I'll show you guys what I make for breakfast and then all the client emails that I have to do because Mondays are a busy, busy day for me. Okay guys, almost finished with breakfast. The breakfast includes uh, a bagel, whole grain bagel, because my stomach digests is the whole grain better than just like the regular bagels. Um, one serving of Nutella, which actually half a serving of Nutella. Some banana. <laughs> Coach just stuck to me back and I'm like, having Chris to answer the messages because I'm so nervous. <laughs> some coffee, two egg whites, and two whole eggs, and some turkey bacon. It's cooking up. I forgot to put it in, so it's taking a little bit longer. <gasps> Let's see what he said. Is it good or is it bad? So we are heading, had to take a little break from work so we are heading to my laser appointment today today last week I had my laser hair appointment which it was like my last one for my hair removal which was actually really great my hair has been doing a really good job I hardly grow any anymore um, but today is my tattoo removal it's my third is it my fourth babe or my third, third. it's my third session and my progress has just been amazing on my tattoo everything's been working out really really well a lot better than I thought um, but today apparently they're gonna use this other laser which they told me last time hurts a little bit more so I'm really nervous about that it's such a quick process so I'm so glad that my tattoo first of all is on my back so I feel like the pain is a little less painful than if it was like somewhere else like on your neck or in your face or some somewhere else um, and then it's not that big so it's a pretty quick process she's done within like five minutes I would say so I'm gonna get Chris to take a little bit behind the scenes for you guys. And yeah, hopefully it won't cry. Okay guys, so 
just got done with that. I was just telling Chris that they actually didn't level it up to like the red to take off the red. They're still working on the black, but it was a level higher than before. I was just telling him there's no way that I would be able to do that if it was like on another body part. Like the fact that it's on my back, I feel like I'm able to handle the pain, but man, that pain is like it's a whole different level of pain than like laser hair. Laser hair, they like go up every time but it's not so intense yes the brazilian area can be a little intense but they'll take breaks in it you kind of want the break with this you don't want the break you're like let me like, let's just get over with like i just wanted to get it done like it it is really it is painful i'm not gonna say it's not um so yeah but honestly the results have just been freaking amazing i'm just so happy with the way that it looks even now like i'm just so much happier you can hardly see it with my clothes and and you know like with my tan when I get my tan my spray tans you can hardly see it so I just I'm so so happy with the results I mean and and if you guys have a tattoo or have questions about it call laser way they'll give you a free consultation and they'll let you know they'll be really honest with you as far as like how many sessions it's gonna take and if it's worth it for you to do it but yeah now we're gonna off to go buy some errands um not buy some errands so go do some errands first thing on our list is to pick up a calendar i've been wanting to put a calendar up um in the house so that chris and i like behind his desk so chris and i can have like an outline of our photo shoots and stuff like that because it's time to get to work this month so it'll just be easier for us to like plan all our shoots on there see what we have going on i have my planner on my phone but you know seeing it every morning is just going to help us out way more and then that way he can know what is going on because he's not um on my like phone calendar so yeah i'm gonna pick that up at home goods now hello guys so we are currently at the gym i have upper body today so i wanted to record it for you guys because i feel like the last two videos that i posted has been just like a lower body so for you ladies who want to do some upper body i got you i think today i'm gonna hit some back i don't think i'm gonna do any biceps today um i'll see i might i might you guys know that my arms are pretty like are pretty good place i don't really like to work out my arms a lot but i might just for this video so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this workout Esa chica quiere selfie, selfie que yo parezca en él Como que ella quiere Disfruta la noche, lo anormal Creo que el novio teme Que su relación va a terminar Se da cuenta que no necesita alguien más Quiere un selfie para su Instagram Bye. Ella ya no quiere relación Alguien que diga su condición oh, oh, Que solamente le dé traición Va después llegar con un perdón oh, oh, Quiere andar Y ser de esos pibis Que goza la vida Y lo hacen como Esa chica ladies. quiere selfie Selfie, ella quiere ver Lo que se ve se dé cuenta Que aquí perdió esa mujer Perdió esa mujer Lo que quiere es enloquecer Ser la mujer que él quería ver En sus sueños, nos ponemos risueños con un norteño y mi flow brasileño. Que te juro que es bueno, ay, ay, ay. Ya me ha el palo, es empate si lo desigualo. Le gusta lo no estoy lo malo, me traje un regalo. Ella ya no quiere relación, alguien que diga su condición. Oh, oh, que solamente le dé traición, pa' después llegar con un perdón. Oh, oh, Hello guys, so we left off yesterday at the gym with that really good back workout. It was such a good back workout. Haven't had a good back workout in a long time. Um, my back has just given me, been giving me issues, especially like my upper back. Um, but yesterday I felt really good. Everything was normal. I have officially started a prep today. So I wanted, the pl original plan was to wait until I got back from Colombia because I'm going to Colombia next month. 
but I messaged the coach on Monday like you guys saw and his response was we need to get started at ASAP. So he just wants to make sure that I have enough time to cut down and really get that gluten hammy tie in because that's always been a struggle for me. So, you know, I'm gonna do what he says. I know that Columbia is not gonna be 100% perfect, but I'm gonna do my best to eat my meals, to do my workouts. As far as my workouts go, I know I'll get them all done because I'll wake up early and get them done. It's the food that's a little bit of an issue, but I'm gonna do my best that I can. I'm not gonna make any excuses. And you know, that's all that I can do, right? It's 80, 80 to 90% of consistency is better than no consistency at all. So yeah, I have officially started. I'm about to eat meal one. I'm not gonna be sharing with you guys what I'm eating just because he has this plan set up for me and um, you know, I signed a contract with him and I don't wanna be giving away you know, his advice and stuff. Not wanna say his advice, but his programming for me. So um, I will throw in a couple th things here and there. Obviously my Nutella is out of question. No more Nutella for Jazzy. I am gonna be doing a lot more, um, you know, just whole foods, no macro friendly foods. I'm not gonna be able to have like sugar free things, Diet Coke, thing like that. So, yeah, kind of nervous about that because I've been living a really good balanced life and I have I don't have a lot of sugar-free things in my diet, but I do like to have some here and there. So, you know, it's okay. We'll adapt. Um, the first thing that I am having, though, is my celery juice. Um, celery juice is still going to be in the, my routine. I'm not going to change that. So since it's going to be a common factor, it shouldn't affect anything. Um, you know, obviously, once peak week comes, I'll take that out, but... Celery juice is still going to be my main thing that I do in the morning. So yeah, I'm going to have my first meal. I have six meals of the day. So today will officially be my first prep day. I'm excited. Let's get it. Hello, guys. So today has been kind of like a an um kind of day. I had I was planning this whole week on having this photo shoot today, right? And I was like, okay, I've been tracking everything. Like, I just started prep yesterday, so like... I was like, okay, Thursday I'm gonna wake up feeling really, really good, super tight, and I'm gonna have a great photo shoot. Did my makeup this morning, had my breakfast and everything, and my body was just like not cooperating with Chris and I, and Chris is like, honestly, babe, like, we're not gonna shoot today, and it was kind of like, one of those things where like, I kinda got upset because I did my makeup, I was already prepared, and was expecting to get this done, right? Because I can create more content for you guys and everything. And then when it turns out that I can't do it, it's just kind of very disappointing. And I used to be the kind of person to just be like mad and be like mad the rest of the day. But then I like was just like, you know what? It happens. My, it's not my fault. My body's just not looking tight. It's looking very watery. And that is because I've been drinking a whole gallon when prior to this week I haven't. Like honestly, my water intake had just been like two to three shaker cups and now I'm drinking a whole gallon so when you're drinking a lot of water and your body's not used to it it's going to hold some water until it gets used to that and then it'll start flushing everything out so my body I know my body is holding water so there's nothing I can do so we ended up just getting last minute little things that I needed for LA tomorrow because I'm packing all my stuff tonight I leave tomorrow thankfully it's not an early flight so I get to do my workout and my cardio honestly yesterday was prep day number one and it was super I wouldn't say super tough the cardio was actually really easy to get through but my body today is just like feeling it I am super sore from the workout from yesterday which was a great great workout and um, yeah super sore and cardio just had me like I was like at 9 p.m. I got home and I was just like I'm so tired I want to go to bed but I had to finish all my meals and let me tell you for the first time in a long time I was just like take this food away I cannot eat this much food but I'm trying to have a positive outlook because in a few weeks my body's metab my metabolism is gonna get fired up again and I'm gonna be wanting all that food so Went to bed like around one, finishing my last meal. So today will probably be the same. I have my tan today um, because I like to get my tan done before I travel. Brittany, one of my good friends, she does tan um, tans here in Houston. So if you are ever interested, DM me or comment below, and I'll give you guys all her information. She's great, and honestly, I don't have to worry about applying it while I'm over there. I just it's taken care of. So that's the plan for today and then i'm going to show you guys a little bit of how i meal prep my meals because i haven't done so in a really long time and i have to take all my meals to la when it was like not planned so we'll see how i do chris is going to help me he's been chris is amazing you guys my husband's amazing he helps me out so much and anything that i ask him to do he's just there for me so i really appreciate his help I'm gonna work out together with him thursdays are our day that we work out together and um yeah it'll be It'll be a good time.
So another thing, we've been waking up, him and I have been waking up this week early. Early, I mean like 8.30, because we used to wake up like at 10, 10.30. Trying to make better habits, right? And it has been, let me tell you, it has been pretty hard. But, you know, once you create that habit, you know, it's good. And we've actually had a lot of time to get things done. So it's been a really, really great. So, yeah, see you guys after my, I'm eating my meal three right now. And then work out. And then I'll see you guys after to pack all my meals. Hello, guys. So I'm running a little bit behind, of course, always. Um, but I have all my meals packed. I'm heading to LA in just a bit, so I wanted to show you guys um, just a little bit of how I've packed my meals. So I'm taking my Fitmark bag. I've had this bag for like, I don't know, like five years already. And then inside of this, instead of putting all my meals like separately, I just have them all in bags. Like all the fish together, all my rice is together, or all my egg whites are together. No, my egg whites are separate just because I couldn't measure them before, but everything is all together here. I need a pack of dish. I forgot to pack a dish. Pack a dish, and then that way I can heat it up and measure it as I go. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is how I'm gonna do my meals. I'm hoping that I can get the times right on. Like I know that during the expo, it's gonna be a little bit hard for me to time out my meals perfectly, but I'm gonna do my best. That's all that matters. Um, did my workout this morning, did my cardio, everything's done so I can get to LA and not have to worry about that, which is nice. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna take you guys with me just because I feel like expos, it's the same old thing every single time. Chris isn't coming with me, unfortunately, so it's just me on my own. So yeah, I'm excited to see everyone there. I don't want, like, every time I say that I'm gonna vlog in the expo, it just never really happens, and it's always just a few clips. So might as well just let you guys stay here. I'll like, talk to you guys all about it when I get back, get back Monday, and then back on my grind again. Um, so yeah, I'm a little nervous, and I'll let you guys know how prep goes while I'm traveling. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you're not following me already, please do so at Instagram at double underscore jazzy fit. I know, I know a lot of you guys have asked me to do a, um, a nipple uh, recap of Chris and how he's doing. He's doing really good. I promise you in the next clip that I will add some clips of him because right now he's just not prepared for it. So yeah, everything's good. I'm going to ask him to put the link of the doctor, the name of the doctor and everything in this video just in case you guys want to know. But in the next video, I'll include how he's doing and everything. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.